Welcome to this video. This video explains how we could perform linear backlink analysis in Abacus software. Linear backlink analysis using buckle step could be a separate analysis or could be a prerequisite analysis for calculating imperfections for nonlinear backlink analysis by Rix step. In this video, we explain about buckle step, and in the next video, we explain how we could use the result of buckle step as imperfections for performing a Rix step. Imagine a cylinder under hydrostatic pressure and we want to investigate its buckling. As the thickness of the cylinder is a small relative to other dimensions, we model it as a shell. The cylinder is three-dimensional, deformable, and we use shell and revolution to create it. At first, we create a quarter of a circle for one end, and one more time for another end and then we connect these two ends by a line the radius of the cylinder is 0.1 meter and the length is 1 meter there are some extra constraints here at first we remove them and then we can create the length of the cylinder this length is 0.8 meter we revolve this section by 360 degrees and the part is complete in property module we create a material which is a steel and we enter linear elastic properties and also we enter the plastic property of the steel Please notice that the plastic property will not be used in the buckle step and will be used in the rex step in our next simulation. So it's optional to enter them here or not. Then we create a shell section. We enter the thickness of the shell and we also could reduce the number of integration points across the thickness to three points because in buckle step only linear property is used. After that, we assign the section to the part and enter the part to the assembly. Then in the step module, we create a buckle step. The buckle step is amongst linear perturbation steps and only use the initial stiffness matrix of the problem. We can enter here the maximum number of eigenvalues that we are interested in, and also we choose between eigensolvers. For number of eigenvalues less than 20, the subspace solver is more efficient. In the load module, at first we apply hydrostatic pressure to the outside of the cylinder. We use create load and the load type is pressure. Then pick the cylinder and the outside surface is brown. We enter the value of 1 here and the software will calculate the coefficient which should be multiplied by this number to reach to the critical buckling load. In the next step, we should prevent the cylinder from rigid body motion. So we should fix 6 degrees of freedom of the cylinder. At first we fix translational degrees of freedom of 1 points by pinned constraint and then for preventing the cylinder from rotation, we use other points. We pick this point and by fixing this point along the third axis, we prevent the cylinder from rotation around the X axis. And also by fixing this point in the first direction, we prevent rotation around the Z axis. We should also prevent rotation around the y-axis. For this purpose, we pick this point and fix it 
allowing third axis, which prevent the cylinder from rotation around the Y axis. Please notice that by this way of fixing rigid body motion of the cylinder, we didn't apply any extra constraint to the cylinder. We can go to the mesh module and mesh the cylinder. It's possible to mesh the cylinder by quadrilateral and free elements. Then we set the part globally. And also apply element types to the cylinder, which is a standard shell and linear elements. Now we can mesh the cylinder and create a job and run the job. Only in case that we are interested to continue this modeling by another simulation which can be rigged for analyzing the nonlinear buckling of the cylinder, we should request modes of the cylinder to be written in a file. For this purpose, we use model edit keywords and at the end of this file, we add some lines which request displacement of the cylinder to be written in a file. We can use this mold shape in our next simulation as imperfections, but if we are only interested in linear buckling results, the third step is not necessary. Now we create a job. and submit the job. Since the step is linear perturbation, there is only one increment. We go to the visualization module. Here we can plot the first mode shape. The cylinder has a triangular shape and also the relevant critical buckling load is here, which shows more than 1 megapascal pressure for the first mode. We can plot the next mode shape, which is similar to the first, but the third mode shape has this shape and the buckling load is here. We can check the second mode shape buckling load, which is equal to the first mode shape. The third mode shape is here and this is the load the force is also similar to this mode shape and the buckling load is similar and finally the fifth mode shape which is the last mode shape that we has requested if you are interested in nonlinear analysis of buckling of this problem please see our next video which use rigs analysis to predict the buckling load of the structure using imperfections which are calculated mold shapes in this simulation. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you guys in next videos.